Hello guys, welcome back to another video of potential web code. Now in this video, I want to show you how to create this pricing table. This is a responsive pricing table. So before uh, we start, let me show you the demo first. You can see on your screen right now, uh, we have a uh, three cards, starter, professional and business pricing table. Each of these cards, we have a uh, uh, image, we have a title, we have a descriptions, price, and button. Uh, when I hover on this card, the title will change the color into purple, and there is some space between the characters. Next, we have a description. In this description, why, when I hover, you can see that we have a background uh, when I hover. Next, we have a price and a button. You can see that the button color will change to a transparent. And there is a border color and a text that change the color into kind of uh, orange. It's also happened to another card. You can see that professional also happens like that. And in the business card is also happen. Yeah, you can see the effect when I hover on the card. It will be a big uh, rather than another of cards. You can also see that uh, on the background we have a gradient color. I will show you later how to create this gradient color. This pricing table is also responsive. Let me show you when I change to mobile screen, the card will be ordered from the starter to professional and business year. It's also happened to when we change it into tablet screen, you can see that we have two cards that is starter and professional and then we have a business card on the below yeah um, this project how to create this pricing table is easy and can follow by anyone because uh, this is only using html and css so everyone who want to know about this how to create this project can follow this video so before we start to code if you are new from this channel please like and subscribe so yeah without any further ado so let's start to code okay guys now we are starting to code the pricing table so first of all you need to open your text editor here in your screen you can see that i'm using a visual studio code so you can change whatever text editor that you use but right now i'm using a visual studio code so first of all you need to create a folder i name it the folder to responsive pricing table and on the folder I already add an image Uh, next, I'm trying to add an uh, index dot HTML. I also add a style the CSS. Here we go. Right now we have a style.css file, we have an index.html and we also have a folder and I name it images. There is a folder for a three image that we want to use on this uh, pricing table. So maybe we can start with our HTML files. First of all, I will type in doc. This is the abbreviation for template of HTML and I tab it. here we go so first of all I need to add our style.css here to connect to our index.html so I will type a link here we go and I name it I connecting with our style.css 
next on our index.html i will add a google font so let me comment it i will say that we win we want to add the phone here we go uh, let me show you how to add a google phone to your index.html for i'm searching for a google phone here we go we are going to phones.google.com and i will use a poppins phone so I will type pink poppins here. The regular 400. I will select this style. You can see on your screen right now we have uh, embedded and I copied this part and I passed it this to index.html here we go next i want to add our four icons i will use font awesome so back to our browser again here we go i will search for cdn of the font awesome you can see it from this link and I will use the font I of some with the version 5.15.3. Here we go. And I copy this spot. Okay, and I go back to our index.html again. I name it icons. And I pass in here. Okay. So for a title, I will change it to responsive pricing table. Okay, we're already done for the head of the index.html. Now we are going to our body part of HTML. Uh, before uh, we start to this part I will go to the style.css first so I would like to reset our uh, style for our index.html I will add like this I will set the, mar the margin to 0 I will also set the padding to 0 Mm, box sizing to a border box and outline to none so now what I want to add first is I want to declare our three card with a section and I name it with the pricing Uh, I will add a wrapper for our card so I will name it div class with a card wrapper let me show you what we want to build I will separate this card into four part there is the card of header here there will be include image and the title next we divide into card detail and we also have uh, the third part is for a pricing and the fourth part is for a button so yeah for one of this card we have a four part there were the there will be card header there will be card detail there will be card price and there will be card button so yeah let's go back to our index.html we will have a card header we'll have a card detail we also have a card price and a button 
in this card header uh, we'll add div class card header add image src I will add our image the image one dot svg you can see that before that we already have an image let me uh, image one here images and image one dot svg here so that's why we add in our card header next we have a title with the heading two and i name it i will type in starter here here we go what it look like in our browser right now because the image is kind of huge you can see that there is a quite a big of image here and with the title a starter let me show you how to add all of the stuff first before we styling the file here we go we will add our card detail div class and i name it with the card detail i have a p span class and here in the class i will add the icons at the check by at fast f a track and i will add the class name i name it with the check and i add text next i will add more detail i will add uh, icon of check first in this part i will add the cross icon first f a times and this is for the cross icons and i also add another name with the no check i will just uh, typing text with a random uh, text i also add one more for a cross here we go we have a two check icon with a two cross icon this is for starter you can see that All right we'll styling later now go back to our index.html now we are moving to our card price i will add div class and i name it with the card price here we go i will add sub here this is for superscript and i will add um 10 after our uh superscript uh, i will just a uh, superscript for dollar symbol here next add a sub this sub for subscript and i will add text with a month uh let me show you what it's look like on our browser right now we have a superscript dollar symbol and we have a normal text here 10 and we have a subscript with a month here now we add the button button class name it with the card button and the text of the button is i want it here we go the button for 
uh, what's the content for our starter card next we need to add uh, for our professional and business before we start to styling all of this stuff so let's go back here we will add two more for a professional and for a business first we will add another card wrapper class card wrapper card header with the image and we will add the second image dot svg here and we add the title with heading 2 and we name it professional next next we add card detail So first we add a check icon Let me copy it I just name it. I just uh, change the text. And for this part, we change it to cross. I can and like I said before that I add the name of this div by no check and I change the text here by random text uh, okay here we go we already add our card detail next we add for card price We add sub superscript with dollar symbol and add a normal text. I add 25 here and add another subscript with tag is month. Next, we add button. Okay, we already add card for professional next. The last one we add card for business. Again, we add card wrapper. Add the third image. Image three dot svg. We add the title with a business. Next, we add the card detail. Uh, let me copy from this part yeah we need uh, all of the description with the check icon so let me copy this part first 
and past here and I will add one more thing here all of the stuff will be checked there is no cross icons here okay next we add a card price let me co just copy it from the top of this and I will change it to 45 and add the button here we go we already add a three cards there is a starter there is a professional and the business let me show you what it's look like on our browser here we go what it's look like on our browser this is for the starter this is for professional and this is for business now right now we are starting to styling all of this stuff and we will change it into this wonderful pricing table style so let's start to our style.css first of all i want to change the background by using a gradient so i will add a body here styling the body i will set the width with 100 percent height with auto i will add the background color here with five two 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 d zero next this is how i add a gradient for our background by using background image and add a linear gradient i set a 55 degree with the color is five two 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 d zero zero person and add one more color there is ec one six one five b and set it hundred percent you can see it right now we already have a background color with the gradient now we are going to styling the pricing this is for the for the section here we go we styling our section i will set it to flex because i will use a flex box for here for our card so i will add a justify content a center uh, this justify content will set our uh, card uh, to a uh, center all of the stuff next we have a flex wrap with a wrap with 100% and we set the padding for 2 RAM you can see that our image is in the card header and EMG here let me set it first dot dot card header let's just set the width with the uh, two hundred pixel our display to block and set the margin to O and auto here we go you can see that we have three card right now right this is because i set it to a flex and justify content to a center that's why our card will be in the center of this section okay uh, we already set our image to a 200 pixel width so here we go next we are go back to our styling we want to we want it to styling our card wrapper here so i will add on the top of this yet yeah. card wrapper i will set the card wrapper display to flex again but i will add a flex direction to column it will change the order of the content inside the card wrapper 
to column directions. Next, I set the align items to a center. I set a justify content also for a center. For a center, I will set width with 320 pixel. I set height to auto. Add background color to F F nine F nine F nine. I add border radius a little bit round, so I change twenty pixel. I also add the box shadow for PX. And the color will be RGBA. Oh, 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 let me delete it. And the alpha is around 0. 0.0. I will add padding for this card I set it to to RAM also add a margin one RAM and I add transition with all 0.2 second start ease and let me show you what happened when we styling our card wrapper here we go you can see that before content is a center here we have a width around 320 pixel we have a background color white we have a border radius that uh, we set to 20 px we have a bo box shadow padding margin yeah so right now when i hover on our card there is no something change right but in our demo when i hover on this card here we go there will be a uh, more bigger than the normal size of our card so let me show you how to add it by add card wrapper and set up the hover to transform scale to 1.1 so here we go you can see right now when I hover on it it will be big yeah here you go so let's go back so okay right now we need we will add another styling for our card header i will add here is card header we already set the image first right now we want to set styling for card header and the text so i will add the margin and i set to one ram and i add text align to a center here we go let me show you again Can you see that right now our phone it's not to pop in right now so we wanted to uh, change our phone like our demo here that the phone family is pop in so go back to style we add and this part is font family and set it to pop in or sans serif can you see that our font family already changed to a uh, poppins okay next what we want to do is uh we want to change the color of title here when i hover on this card the title will change the color into purple and there is some space between characters like in the demo so we will set in our style file by don't cart wrapper because the hover is happen in the cart wrapper and we add cart header 
uh, the title will be set in heading to right so we will transform it into a scale 1.1 1. 1. and then we set the color to 5222d0 and we add the letter spacing 2 sorry there is something wrong here it must be transition not transform okay here we go the title will change the color and the space of the character when i hover here we go next we are going to uh, style our card detail now we are set a card detail with width 100% and we are going to styling the text by add padding to 0.6 RAM 1.5 frames it means like on the top and the bottom we will set the padding to 0.6 RAM and for right and left of the text we will set the padding 1.5 RAM set the font size 0.8 RAM and the border bottom set it 1px solid and with the color d5 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 we already set our text of card detail with the padding top and the bottom is 0.6 RAM and left and right we set it 1.5 RAM for the font size is a 0.8 RAM and we uh, also add the border bottom next we will change the span this mean like we will change the icon of the checks and icons cross so we already named the check here and we ask them by no check no check for a cross and check for the check icon so here we go i go back to this part i will name it check and set the color to 5222d0 and add, and add no check for a cross icons and set the color to ec615b the color already changed right you can see that there is a space between this part right between the icons and the text and in our part there is no here this is because we not add space here I think we need to add space 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 here we go because they know about this part we have a space now okay next we are going to add a background when we hover on the card details like on the demo when we hover on the card detail they will change the background into gray so we will set it in our project here by add card detail to it when we text we hover on it we will change the background color to d5 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 when we hover on the text there will be have a background next we are going to styling our price here we go we have a card price i set it to flex align item with flex start and I add a margin to 1 RAM card price B we set the font size 3 RAM and font weight is 800 we set card price B we set for sub superscript
and we also set for subscribe by font size is one RAM so here we go when we go back you can see that our uh, superscript and our subscript change the font size into one RAM now next we want to change the button we will set our button right now cart button we set the padding first with 0 0.6 RAM for top and for bottom, 3 RAM for left and right. Next, we set the border to 2px solid and the color is 5222d0. We, we also set the background color with the same with the border color. Next, we set the font color with FFF or white. Next, we set the border radius to 30px. We set cursor to pointer and add transition with O. 15 millisecond is in. Here we go. We already changed the button color. Now we need to add one more step that is. When we hover on our button, they will change the, the background color into transparent and change the text color and the border to uh, orange. So let's go back. Cart button. Hover. Set the border to 2 px Solid. And EC615B. The background color we change it to transparent. The color we change it to EC615B, like the border. And we set the phone weight to 800. So here we go, we already changed the hover color of the button. Yeah, we already finished our styling for our card. This already set for responsive you know like when we change the view to a tablet you can see that we have two card in this part and one card in the below and when we change it to mobile view this here we go we already have a order from starter professional and business card we already done to create our responsive pricing table